Here are three tips that you can do if you're having cubital tunnel syndrome or pain or numbness on the inside of the elbow here that may be radiating down into your hand or fingers. The cubital tunnel syndrome is, is when the ulnar nerve is compressed as it travels here through the cubital tunnel and then that supplies sensation to this side of our hand or the palm, the small finger and the inside here of the ring finger. So the three things that you're going to do is this. You're going to apply moist heat and not just moist heat, but you're going to apply moist heat and you're going to go through some stretches of the flexor mass here. Now that ulnar nerve travels down through here and a lot of times I just feel like with the flexor mass being tight, it just does better if we can get that to relax. So you're going to put a heating pad, you know, in and around this area. Now, of course, before you do any of these techniques, make sure that it's okay with your, you know, appropriate healthcare provider, or physician, etc. But I'm going to put that heating pad on here, maybe 20, 30 minutes. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take and kind of pull my wrists and fingers back like this. And I'm going to feel that stretch all through here just to provide a nice stretch of that tissue, all this connective tissue, the fascia, the neural container that the nerve travels through, just a nice gentle stretch. I might not be able to pull my fingers back and wrist back so far initially, so maybe it's just a little bit, and then I work towards going more back like that. The next thing I'm gonna do is a nerve flossing technique, also known as a neurodynamic technique. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my arm out here, I'm gonna make a kind of an okay symbol here, and I've got it so that the okay symbol is the hole is pointing upwards, and I'm going to lean in. As I lean in, I'm bringing my wrist and my elbow in like so, just like that. So we're going up, and then I'm going to come in and lean my head in. Now, if I want to apply more of a kind of a stretch on the, the nervous tissue, when I do that same movement, instead of bending my head towards my hand, my head is going to go away from my hand. So just like that. And I'm going to go back and forth. And then go back like that. And I might repeat that 10 to 15 times, several times a day. Lastly, the thing that I found that really helps out a lot, and I've suffered with this myself, so I know that it's very effective, or it was for me, is one of those cubital tunnel night splints. So it's a brace that's going to prevent your elbow from bending up like this. Because a lot of times at night we sleep with our arm under our head here, under the pillow. We keep this bent, and that keeps that tension on the nerve passing around the elbow here. So if you have one of those little splints on or a small brace, you can wear that at nighttime to at least it gives some relief throughout the day to take pressure off of that nerve. Because we want to try to avoid keeping the elbow bent like this as much as we can while everything calms down or even propping on our elbow in our vehicle, you know, you get your elbow propped up. So just trying to take some of that pressure off of the ulnar nerve there at the cubital tunnel. I hope these tips help guys and thanks so much for watching.